Hello people of the verse and welcome to the channel, it's the Eradicator and in this video we will talk about AI and especially what the latest in-game event Invictus Fleet Launch Week brought to the game in terms of improvement and future perspectives for the Persistent Universe. But before we do that, let's talk about this month's truly exceptional giveaway as I am giving away for the subscribers of this channel and my new channel The Eradicators, which is where I talk about everything that is non-Star Citizen related, the chance to win this Tumbril Nova tank with 10 years of insurance. It is now drivable in Star Citizen Nova 3.13.1 and it is truly epic. All you have to do to get some winning is subscribe to both channels and answer the giveaway question I will be asking throughout this video. Also, for the backers of my channel on Patreon and via the Join Button membership, you should have access to my Discord channel where I'm giving away an RSI Scorpius with LTI and the Concierge exclusive Stinger Paint. All you have to do is to sign up on the dedicated Discord page if you have access to it. Alright guys, now that being said, let's talk about AI, and especially gunners and turret AI that we're all waiting for for our own ships, especially because a lot of the ships that we have are not designed for solo use but for multi-crew, either with just a turret gunner for ships like the Hurricane, the Gladiator, the Super Hornet, the Vanguard or the upcoming Scorpius or with a larger crew composed of missile operators and turret gunners like the Constellation or maybe the upcoming Redeemer. Now it is also incredibly difficult to fully man larger ships like the Karak or there are say the Hammerhead unless you are part of a larger org with dozens of members continuously being online and therefore a lot of players who bought these larger ships these vessels you know, just end up collecting dust simply because it doesn't make any sense to fly them without being accompanied by anyone else. So, how did the last Invictus Fleet Launch Week event contribute to helping lonely shipped captains, you may ask? Well, it has everything to do with the inclusion of the RSI Bengal Carrier during the event. Now, you see, prior to the event, all of the work that, the, and also all the work that preceded the event, it was deemed impossible to include Star Citizen's largest future flyable ship into the verse due to its sheer amount of entities that needed to be generated in order to make it work. Just to give you an idea, the Bengal features 90 turrets, meaning that if each turret was manned by an AI gunner, that would have meant that 90 AI gunners would have spawned in already and oversaturated 50 player servers on top of everything else. You know, the ship systems, the texture, the massive one kilometer long structure too, of course, and the other support ships that accompanied it during the events, like the Javelin, for example, which themselves need to have an AI crew. Cloud Imperium developers themselves conceded that even for them, it posed a serious challenge in their internal builds on their own machines. Now, clearly, some work was needed to make it feasible in-game with our current li limitations, and this is why CIG is starting developing two items here, a proper NPC Gunner AI, which you can see in the roadmap actually in the progress tracker. And as it looks like, as it looks right now, it looks like uh, work is going to end in one or two weeks. So it will be interesting to see here uh, uh, where CIG will go from there. Also, will they be implementing in the game? Will players be able to hire AI gunners for their own ships? I mean, after all, this was a feature that CIG promised uh, and has talked about for a long time. And it is a feature that is available in other space games too. Uh, or are we waiting for more tech to come online, such as, for example, server meshing, in order to be AI to make AI more effective and responsive? Do we also need iCache to be fully up and running since we may want those NPCs to be persistent and also stay with us when we are logging out and back? Now the answer unfortunately is probably yes and this is most likely the reason why we don't see this feature in the deliverables roadmap. Now it's also uh, the reason why I believe that AI blades will probably come sooner than later in the verse and these blades were already used in large numbers on the Bengal and the CIG did imply in the last episode of Inside Star Citizen that the players will benefit from what was developed from the event. 
And that, of course, can mean everything, including benefit, uh, benefiting from the optimization and better performance in the game following the event. And, of course, uh, that could also mean that AI blades could be making, making their way into the PU in some shape or capacity, perhaps this year, since the technology has been pretty much developed already. Now, the only thing that would remain to be done was would be perhaps how to implement it in the PU from a gameplay perspective. I mean, they would have to be physicalized, probably sold at the Microtech store in New Babbage, and they would have also to be placed in dedicated slots in ships. They would also have to be balanced in order to make them less effective than actual NPCs or even players. And this would basically be the work that would remain to be done but if CIG were to really decide to plan and put them at our disposals, I think that this could be a cool feature we could see during CitizenCon, which is always a moment when CIG likes to unveil surprises and cool stuff players have been waiting for a long time. So there you have it, guys. Why I believe that we are not going to see anything until at least CitizenCon, but still, nevertheless, these new AI developments are going to bring great promises here for players who are waiting for AI crew and for Blade NPCs for their turrets. But of course, now it is time for the giveaway question. When do you think that we will see those AI improvements that were made for the Bengal coming into fruition in the forms of AI Blades or NPC Gunners? What are your thoughts and predictions? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Now with that marks the end of this video, as always, thank you very much for watching and sticking with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more content on the channel. This is The Eradicator. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching, this is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.